real quick before this video starts make sure you follow me at 415 Kodak on Twitter and also GFX Comet and we also got a Discord server so uh, if you're interested join and I hope you enjoy this video and now if you want to add some fog you actually can so shift A grab a mesh cube S bring it all the way up even more something like that go to material hit new um, on surface you want to click on the circle and go remove and in volume you want to add a principal volume so just like that turn density down so 0 0.01 0 0.02 0 0.01 the 0 0.015 right, the color you could adjust the color as well so if you want to do blue that works as well adjust the settings as you want um, yeah so we got this right here Alright, so I think I like this right here. And now I think we are ready to render. So go up to render, render image. As you can see, and we're just gonna go image, save as, and save it wherever you want. So I'm going to name it Tesla Roadster. And now we're gonna head over to Photoshop. I'm just going to grab a little background off the internet. <laughs> um, the reflection colors don't match. So let me just do this real quick. So let me just do this real quick. Feel some blur. Top part. Uh, let me actually grab the car real quick with the quick selection tool. Select the car. Just like that. Let's go right click, select the mask, radius, move, and contrast up. Shift edge down. Hit OK, Control J, and we're gonna bring this below the core. So from here, we could adjust the proper reflection color as we change the background in Photoshop. So. doing adjustments so color look up let's see which one looks the best um, I like these two so I'm gonna take this one and copy take this one let's adjust this one so there we go copy again bring this up soft lights All right and this one See the difference. Um, yeah. What else do we have? We have exposure. Turn the offset. All right, now we're just going to take everything. So click on the top layer. Hold shift bottom layer control G we're gonna hit new layer go up to image and apply image hit ok 
okay we're gonna hit control j to copy again we're gonna go to filter and camera raw filter and from here um texture no, texture all the way up clarity all the way up One hertz exposure contrast point contrast okay all right uh, detail noise reduction not too much sharpen just a little bit too much as well. I'm gonna hit OK. You can see the before and after. It's a huge difference. I'm gonna hit Control, merge these two, Control E, Control J to copy again. I'm gonna filter, blur gallery, and I'm gonna go tilt shift. From here, I'm just gonna set our blur up. Something like this. I'm just gonna hit OK, and um, yeah, I think we have pretty much our finished product. If you want to add some smoke, you can. I think a scene like this would benefit from some smoke. So here we go. I'm gonna use our eraser tool to tone down flow. So just grace. As you can see, And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is our finished product. Um, if this video helps you, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more. And with that being said, I will see you all next time.